Hi guys, this is Andrew and we will see how to uh, fix the Intel graphics card on a Hackintosh PC, uh, Intel based PC and how to uh, fix up the original Apple HDS sound card uh, and the trackpad. So for that, uh, here you are uh, looking that I have already installed and I have activated my integrated graphics card and for that just I am going to the system preferences about this Mac and here you see that Mac OS Mojave uh, version 10.14.1 and the graphics card is Intel HD graphics 6000 and 1536 MB virtual graphics and here is the display and this is the display preferences you will see so here is the uh, display uh, the display there is a uh, slider for the brightness uh, here is the color you can more uh, more shift up shift the more to the night shift also so let's start our video so guys uh, first uh, we need a tool called the hacking tool this tool is uh, actually to uh, activate the integrated graphics card Intel HD graphics card so after you open the application click on the patch patch button and here you will see that this is uh, the features of the uh, computer the Intel general global PC the IG platform ID uh, G GPU device ID, GPU name, mobile, uh, models, uh, virtual RAM, uh, the Apple Cax frame buffer, connector, and patch. So, what uh, we need to do, uh, we need to go to patch and uh, then we have to click to advance, and uh, you have to must uh, watch out that. Uh, the Intel generation of your graphics card is a broad oil of Haswell, Skylake, Kabilek or Coffee Lake. So here is my PC is uh, integrated graphics card is broad oil. So I am selecting the broad oil and uh, select this DVMT pre-allocated 32 MB memory. Uh, use Intel HDMI virtual RAM 2048 MB enable H. GMI 4K. So after that, you have to go through the audio. Uh, you can use an open source uh, that is uh, called the Apple ALC. So if you are using the Apple ALC, uh, then you will find this uh, my uh, audio card. Uh, models real tech real tech alc255 uh, layout id3 minimum kernel 13 and maximum kernel 16 so after that we will again go to our patches so click here on the patch and after selecting this option click on the general patch After you uh, generating the patch, uh, click here, File, Export, 
uh, for booting uh, the bootloader config .list file uh, will be exported uh, which will uh, contains the generated patch uh, to activate our integrated graphics card and sound card so here I am going to the desktop and click on set so here I am getting this uh, config.plst file so what I need to do next is uh, open it then cut this window so here is uh, my dear disturbance so we'll go to clover configure right here After that, <coughs> mount your EFI partition. Then click on partition. Okay, now go to this uh, device section. Okay, this is a old version of Clover. You must need uh, 5.3 or 5.9. So after you go to the device section, you will find that uh, arbitrary can click here on the properties and what's that uh, under the device section uh, PCI root 00, 00 PCI 0 into 1 MB0 and this is to column uh, to patch the frame buffer. Okay, so what you need to do next is uh, just open your uh, main EFI folder and open your config list. Thank 
Okay, then go to the device section. Click on the properties. This is the old version of Clover, so that Okay, just uh, you need to do this in the property section. Copy. We find that we have copied and pasted the device properties from the past uh, config list, who is was generated from the uh, hacking tool. Then close the global configurator. Here you uh, look in the transulent uh, job bar and if we click on the finder uh, it's also transulent. And now go through the sound. And here you look at the sound output device. Selected output device. Here is the output headphones. And 
input is the mic input and the output volume and uh, there is another thing you have to do uh, to fix the display so for that you have to go to the system library extensions and here was a text Apple backlight fix up text you just uh, need to uh, install this text in the system library extension so for that open the text utility wizard Install. Drag this apple. Here. Uh, select the installation drive and click install. As I have already installed it, I uh, I don't install it again. Install it. Another thing you have to do is uh, go to your EFI folder, go to EFI Clover CPI past, and here you uh, need to uh, place the SSDT PNLF AML files to get out the full functionality of the graphics card okay so after installing the text uh, open the global configurator And you will just need a single thing. Uh, click on two and select this option add P and L F add P and L F and after that close the cover configurator. Then uh, close the window. And the file you needed, uh, uh, the links are given in the description section of the video. You will then uh, restart your PC. Then you will uh, get uh, the totally working Apple SD, which is 100% uh, better than the full SD, uh, the original uh, SD, and. The Intel graphics card. Uh, just go to my Mac. The system report, and here is the graphics display. Uh, Intel SD graphics six thousand, and here is the description of the graphics card.
Okay, full functional graphics card. System preferences, and you will find the trackpad, the synaptic trackpad. So all things are working. So I hope it will uh, work for you, and you can download the file needed files from the links of the video. Thank you guys.